I can't be sure. I still don't really know. Uh, but it was something to do with the scope of America, certainly, uh, and the, relative, mm, limit, the relatively limited character of English society, comparatively at any rate. In class structure and everything else? Things like that, and also I think... More of a meritocracy. If you, if you show any promise as a writer in Britain, um, in London, that's fine, and people will give you work and so forth, but you keep feeling all the time you're having to pass through a series of tests and hoops, you know, he, you know he's quite promising and so forth. You, could, you can die of that kind of encouragement. Whereas in America, if you're willing to take the chance and say, look, here I am, um, try this, um, people can, you, you, don't, you don't feel you're having to go through these stages of evolution, maturing in the cask like a, a fine old vintage that in the end goes sour before it's ripe. Tell me about your father's influence, called the commander. Well, the commander is the conservative and um, puritanical influence on my life. <laughs> uh, he was a very gloomy, uh, pessimistic um, man who spent his life in the Royal Navy. Um, he once told me that the only time in his life he'd ever felt he knew what he was doing was in the years 1939 to 1945, when he had to fight a very hard and bitter war because there was purpose? Yes, he, he understood what his job was and what the motive for it was. Um, and that was a very hard war at sea, largely but not entirely in the North Atlantic, <clears throat> against Hitler. Though to his disgust, one of the, and proving to him that life is unfair, the job that Churchill actually gave him was running guns to Stalin, um, supplying convoys mm -hmm. to, the, to the Red Army over the hump of Murmansk, a very arduous job fighting in the Arctic to help out the communists who he'd always hated all his life. So the iron entered into his soul at that point um, even further than it had before. He died when? He died in 1988. So he knew what you had become and he knew some of your early revolutionary fervor. Sure. Um, and he would have still wanted to know when I was going to get a serious job. <laughs> That's what yeah. would say. And when are you going to put down some roots? Exactly right. right. Exactly. Right. Well, um, the old man would have liked me, I must have been a terrible disappointment to him, he would have liked me to be good at games. I, I couldn't care damn about sports. I'm no good at them. Um, Neither observing or playing? No, not interested. Um, not good at the things he was good at. He was good at physics and chemistry and math. Yeah. I'm not good at any of these yeah. things. Um, would rather go off to the library and read a book. Um, that sort of thing. Join us online at trolleyrose.com.